Hey, how's it going guys? So today I got a really simple video. We're going to be installing some new speakers in the Protégé today. Alrighty, so these are the speakers we're going to be installing. It's just a set of front speakers. So these are 6x8, which is what the Protégé's front door speakers are. We're going to be swapping these out. Should just be a plug and play. So yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about car audio and the sound systems and stuff like that. I have changed out the rear speakers on my car just because one of them was blown out. All I did was a simple plug and play swap, which is kind of what we're doing here. That with car audio, you can go really above and beyond. You can go with new wires, amps, and slung subs, bigger speakers, and sound deadening and stuff like that. We're not really going to be doing any of that in this video. We're simply just going to be changing out the speakers and hopefully they sound a little better. So this is the tools I'm going to start out with. Just a simple pick, panel tool, impact, and some drivers. So yeah, taking the door panel off, it really can be complicated in some cars. Some cars it can be kind of easy. Luckily on the Proje, it is pretty easy. So I'm going to show you what bolts to get out. Alrighty, so some of the easier ones are the screw behind this little cap right here. There is one inside the door handle. There is one on the door handle itself. There's another one underneath, and then there's a little one right here. So I think that's all, and I wanna get those out. All right, so I got this thing out. I got it kind of loose right here. I'm not sure if this handle pops off because of the back one kind of does that. That I'm gonna get my pick tool and simply go along the edges of the door and kind of start popping all the panel off. So yeah, after I was right, after you get that screw done, and then the bottom one, this whole handle actually pops out. It is in there pretty tight, but there's two more screws holding it in there. But as you can see, when I was popping the panel off, it's all pretty much loose. So I think it's just those two things, and we do have to kind of slide it over this. The trim up here at the top and the handle. Gotta let the handle go through the door panel, and it stays on the door. As you can see, it's able to get it loose, but we still have to disconnect the window switch back there. So simply unclip that and your whole door card's off. So the door card is off now. So here's our speaker right here. It's a simple little six by eight, which is held on by four Phillips. So I think we undo that, unclip it, and then our speaker's out. So here's the difference between the speakers. Obviously these new ones look a lot cooler and they just look a little bit better. And uh, yeah, here's the old one. So the thing is that we're gonna have to do though is that these do have different plugs on them. So I'm gonna have to just simply cut the wires on there and attach some new ones for these connections. Alrighty, to wire the speakers in, we will need some electrical stuff. So I have some general stuff from Harbor Freight that is super easy, super cheap to have. That's always good to have this for future, but it does have the female and male connectors that we need right there to wire these new speakers in. You will also need a basic set of just kind of wire crimps. All right, since we can't use this plug right here, all we're gonna do is cut it off and like that. So yeah, we got our wires cut and we can now attach our new plugs on there. So for this thing right here, it does have a red and white that we can actually go look at the old speaker and see what our positive and negative is. So yeah, I just confirmed it. Red is positive and white is negative. So yeah, I actually added some extension wire just because these plugs fit a little bit better on the 18 gauge instead of the original wiring on there. So obviously red is positive, black is now the negative. So I'm gonna try these out and let's give it a rip. So yeah, this looks a little weird, but I added some foam just to kind of help with the vibrations and stuff like that. I threw two screws in and plugged it in and tested it and it works out. So yeah, it sounds a little bit better than the original ones. Um, I don't really have any decibel reader or anything, but it sounds a little bit better and a little bit crisper. So I'm gonna get this side cleaned up and then we're gonna move on to the other side real quick. I did get this progress done on it, so I took the door out, got my new connectors all good, and yeah, so this one, it is a little different because the handle 
is like this. You know, it doesn't have the other handle. And you have some more plugs. You have the lock and the window and the mirror connectors right here. But other than that, super simple. Just, you know, take the screws out, pop it out. It also helps to take out the little tweeter right here. And that's just simply clipped in so you can kind of pop that right out. So install on this side is now done. So I got that cap back in, clamped it all the way in just by hitting it. Got the handle one, got that one under the cap. There's one right there. Pop that handle off. There's the two right there. The whole thing comes out. I guess we gotta put that in. Put that back in, just goes in, clips in. So yeah, and did all my window and door switches. So yeah, install's now done. Alrighty guys, so that's the end of the install. Super easy, just taking your door panel off, changing the connectors on your speaker wire, putting it back in and buttoning and everything back up. If you can find some good speakers for cheap, throw them in there, they're probably gonna be better than the OEM ones. And uh, yeah, you can get a little bit more bass, a little bit more sound and stuff out of it. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions or anything like that, put them down below, drop a like and make sure you subscribe.